Hey guys, welcome back to Twitchy's Kerbal Broke program. We are totally out of money because we managed to upgrade our science center here. Talking about the science center, I want to show you that I have installed a brand new mod. I think it was here. Yep, we've got the ScanSat in there because, well, we need to make some money to upgrade our tracking center because I'm... Uh, oh, no, I didn't want to go in there. Uh, because I'm fed up of not having patched conics. Um, like, whilst I know my way around the Kerbal system all right, I, I do want to start going a bit further afield. Um, but we need money for that, and to do that, like I've noticed that there's lots of put satellites in orbits. Now this is great, but if we just did this, all we would do was have a lump of space junk in orbit, and that that would be a bit boring. But with the ScanSat mod, we can actually make this have a use. So I think what we're going to do is do that try to try and earn some money. Basically, you know, this is obviously you know Kerbal Broke program. That's that's what we're doing. We're trying to earn some monies. Uh, and I think getting a satellite into an equatorial orbit well within our capabilities. After all, we have literally just sent a satellite out of the, uh, out of the Kerbin sphere of influence, which is which is great. It's still going. It's got. I have no idea when if that or if that is coming back or whether it's going to slam into the planet. I mean, I just kind of sent it along on that orbit. I don't. I don't know if that's retrograde or progress. It's going retrograde, so it's it's going to be trying to fall in a lot. I don't know. Maybe we'll send it to Eve. Who, who knows what will happen. But this this is the orbit we're trying to put it into. I really don't think this is going to be hard. 250... Uh, 200... 2,547,000 kilometres up. But well within our capabilities. Um, unfortunately, we kind of want the... Uh, the, the, the space center here so we, we can make a nice arc up i mean maybe even over periap so we can push this side up but whatever the plan we're gonna need to go spend some science but what science shall we purchase well i reckon and you might disagree with me for about this but i'm the one controlling this mouse i reckon we've got enough lifting parts to get us wherever we need to go in the curbing system for the moment so we want to start looking towards extra stuff um, now, one of the things I really want to do is open up um, sort of the RCS capabilities, um, mainly for positioning of satellites, because, you know, that's the best way to position the satellites. The next thing I really want to do is open up the multispectral scanner, because, again, this is great for satellites. Um, I don't... Does it tell us the, the best title here? Yeah, it does. But okay, we'll, we'll talk about that when we, when we get to building. Uh, and one more thing I would really like to get is extra batteries, much better batteries. Now, this was a bit of a toss-up between either getting that or getting our temperature scanner here. And I think we're going to go for this one because that means we are but 45 points away from getting all this stuff here. And it gives us increased functionality, which by the time we've done the, the satellite mission, we will have. So... To the VAB! Truly, words cannot express the majesty of this being we see before us. Uh, literally, everything is just like perfect on this, and we've done it in like, hang on, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts? Eight parts, that's not bad. Okay, so we've got like 1.5 electric charge per minute coming from the, uh, the probe core, and this takes 1.5 per second. Now, these kick out two per second, so we are just like totally covered for whatever we need plus we have the little uh, battery pack down the bottom to uh, take us through the night zone so if we come over to my sub assemblies and take the small stack because this is such a tiny vessel i reckon we can get it up on on this basically just on this it should be easy enough especially if i apply everything i learned from the kerbal x flight so for let's call it 20 grand 20 grand that's not bad at all okay let's save it and launch all right, so after the six hour loading time, I do believe everything is ready to go. So five, four, three, two, one, pow. So obviously as per normal, I have um, done a little bit of throttling back on my solid boosters because the, this is quite a small thing that we're trying to lift up here. Um, and well, we don't want to be punching through the atmosphere at hundreds of meters per second because obviously drag will give us all sorts of problems and, and things like that. Um, but yeah, I think using, as I said in the in the VA, but using my knowledge that I uh, gained on the the Kerbal X challenge, I really think we should be able to get this up here on on minimal uh, of um, fuel expenditure, uh, mainly so we can get a, a shed load of money. Um, everything about this episode is going to be making money because 
that's what it's all about. We need to we need to make lots and lots and lots of money. Okay, so we're coming out to the the the, the map view and just having a, a quick look around, seeing how high we are off of everything. Obviously, five kilometres, not really anything to be worrying about at the moment. Our solid fuel is running down. We're about halfway through now, and we are just about punching uh, 170 meters per second. That might be going a little bit fast. Let's just try and, and ease it down a little bit. But then it's really hard to make sure that these tiny vessels don't go just like ripping away through the atmosphere um i don't may, maybe because this is so small it might be a good idea just to let it like oh no gravity turn gravity turn uh, it might be a good idea just to let it rip through the atmosphere as quick as possible because it, it will probably build up speed like insanely quickly okay well we need to be ready for a small staging here and no doubt doing the staging will knock my sas offline a little bit because these things normally do let's throttle up and do that whoa right what's let's try and get this back under control uh, i'm still not sure whether this actually has um serious active sas uh, the main reason that i chose this probe core here is because it actually has sas running on it and, and you know the, why the stay putnik was was quite nice you know don't get me wrong as, as probe cores go especially this early in the game uh they're, they're they're nice to work with the moment you can get one that's better you really should go for it because yeah it's better okay so we're going up to 50 uh, i'm just waiting for my apple apps to break the atmosphere looking at something like i don't know 75 kilometers 75 kilometers would be nice we appear to have dropped down on our g-force a little bit and i'm not sure why all right so let's go x maybe that was uh, an atmospheric effect i don't know i just kind of caught this bobbing out the corner of my eye uh right so now we just need to wait until we drift up here this was a little bit high actually a little bit high but that, that's okay no one minds going a little bit high i'm sure right we're just waiting for this vessel here to get oh, no, somewhere somewhere like here once we're there what we're going to do is nose down to the horizon and try and keep our apple apple apps just in front of us not not horrendously in front of us but just in front of us all right so maybe start thinking about slowing down here we can just hear the sounds of the vacuum in the in the distance somewhere and now i'm going to try and really ease this forwards if at all possible i think i'm actually going to have a little bit of trouble here so let's just kick in a little bit of thrust and then that'll help us turn um yeah yeah no that will help us turn all right now full throw go 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 hopefully we can keep this ahead of us hopefully maybe oh getting a little bit off inclination here this is no good uh, obviously we need to put this in an equatorial orbit Ooh, it's getting close it's getting close are we going to touch it are we not i don't know i don't know we're just going to have to kind of make do with what we've got here and see see what see what orbit we end up in i mean i hope it should be a relatively nice orbit should be um i was kind of expecting it to come out the back of the planet by now we are running down fuel quite a bit though you know this is the most fuel intensive part of the whole process so i really wouldn't expect whoa yeah there we go looks good looks good so i wouldn't really expect it to do anything serious maybe we can just uh carry on pushing let's let's push our apple apps up to periapt here what are we looking at 2.9 can we just click this we can't click oh no 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 we've lost focus on our ship okay we're just gonna have to wait for this to come up one let's do this slowly now one five one six one seven one eight one nine two that's that's it for me that's good right and we're just gonna have to wait until we get down here look at that it's not great is it it's not it's not perfect they're not all lining up we could we could really have had it all lining up perfect but you know the, this is uh the way things go right let's uh time warp our way up to our apple apps and we can do little things i really wish i could change my focus but there we go back to that i, I seem to have incredible trouble with um like swapping over focus to Kerbin and never being able to send it back because I'm in too low an orbit. Well, that that's my that's my assumption. We're in too low an orbit. All right, so we're coming up to Apple Apps, and obviously the hardest bit here is going to. Uh, nearly forgot about the electric charge. Ooh, let's get back in here and have a look at what's going on. Right, these these need to extend. I believe as long as we um, as long as we're careful, we should be able to keep this extended whilst we're doing the 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 boosting the burning. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Ah, oh. It's always nice when we see everything in conjunction with each other. Unfortunately, it doesn't make great screenshots because this is dark and this is dark. And then we've got a great big bright thing over there, which is uh, uh, a little bit annoying. Right, so if we just turn ourselves around, hopefully we should be able to do this with the power of our SAS, hopefully. Um, yeah, no, we're going good. Let's, let's turn actual SAS off and let, let ourselves drift around. We need to be pointing roughly away from, like... 
Ooh, ooh. So which way? The horizon's there, so we want to be looking a little bit, a little bit up, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just just carry on spinning around and see which way we we end up facing. Oh wow, this is slow. This, this is uh, quite a slow. It would have been nice to put an extra reaction wheel, but at the same time, I didn't really plan for this uh, to be pushing all of this way. I, I was kind of expecting actually for all this to be used up during the the lift burn. And don't get me wrong, I'm just going to make total use of it here. Oh, slow down. Slow down. We don't want to carry on turning. Stop, 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 stop. Wow. Wow. This takes forever to do anything. But I'm going to take this as a good place to go and we'll just uh, drift on up. Hmm. We're close. Two, two, nine, 209. 203. Uh, 201, sorry. So we're close. Gives us a little bit of wiggling room when we get onto the other side, I suppose. Um, so we want our Perry apps or at least our Apple apps come up to 25 and that should be that should be dealable um, yeah okay so let's go here this looks good this looks good indeed okay come up look up all right let's start boosting hopefully this will be great hopefully I mean, who knows uh, right ready to press this X okay and then we're just gonna slowly throttle up till Two five, right? No four five. Ah, oh, this isn't great. This isn't great. I could definitely use a maneuver node or two. Um, I think here we need to burn radial, maybe, and then we can start spinning it around. Because look, that's the point of intersection. <sighs> this is going to be tough. It's going to be a lot tougher than I thought it would be. And we've, we've still got this massive thing behind us. How 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 low on fuel are we we're getting there maybe i'll make my radial burn here and see what happens i don't even know if radial is the way we want to go i'm going to point towards the planet i think that's what we want we want we want it pointed towards the planet apart from i seem to have great difficulty in turning at the moment um let's let's come out of here and just kind of spin around until we're facing the right way yeah it looks all right i mean we could be a lot lot better obviously but i think we're gonna do it do all right here i think we are gonna do all right here all we need to do is just hit the point of uh, just hit close enough I, I remember that these are quite quite loose um quite loose requirements i'm not sure if it's still that way now um now that it's been integrated with actual kerbal obviously all my memories are being based upon um oh geez look at this uh, are being paced, based upon fine print, which, I was, if you remember, I was using in last series. Okay, so we're coming down towards the right point here. Uh, let's just slow down here, because we need to turn ourselves around, and this is going to be awkward. Because what we really want to do is not mess with how high up in our orbit we are. We just want to kind of turn the Apple apps up, up to there. And I'm not sure if this is the right direction to be looking in. 2.5, 2.5... So let's let's try it. Let's see what happens. Let's bring ourselves in. Um, this is me learning how to reorientate my. Oh, jeez! No, come on, come on, come on. Well, to be fair, a little bit, a little bit slow down probably wouldn't go and miss it. Is that coming towards me? It's coming towards me. That's not what I want. That's not what we want at all. Okay, let's try the other one. Cause it's definitely not an inclination. That that that's the one thing it's not. Uh, despite there being a 0.6 <laughs> node here, um, let's just, let's just try it. Let's just try it. Yeah, it seems to, it seems to be doing the burn that I want it to do. We're going to go stop here and maybe uh, like so. Our our burn is definitely out of line. Uh, it's quite quite vexing, quite vexing. But I'm not I'm not I'm not even sure how we would deal with it. To be fair. I'm really not. Um, what I'm going to try and do is push this side of the orbit up and see what happens. Hopefully it will get close enough to actually just click and go, well done. But who knows? Who knows indeed. Uh, so we've been up for an hour of um, mission time so far. It's going well. I mean, it's only 12 minutes of real time, so this, this should be okay. If we just start slowing ourselves down again. Just throttle up there, I think. Oh, is this going to be perfect? and stop well it's kind of close I, I can't tell which one's mine that's a player at that's pretty good oh oh have we done it all oh, right oh well that that incredibly well 
that went incredibly well. I, th I really thought we were going to be uh, mucking about with that a lot more. So let let's go okay. Now the real question is, can we use the scan sat up here or are we just too far away? I've got a feeling we're just too far away. Um, let's start multispectral scanning. Yeah, look, we're just, we're so high up. We are hella high. Um, I can't remember what the maximum, where's the closed box thing gone? There it is. Can't remember what the, the maximum altitude is so we're gonna have to go check right well i had a quick look and it turns out that we need to take a digit off of this we need to be 250 kilometers not 2100 and yeah all right so we, we, we can we can do this we can do this we need to just swing ourselves around i should imagine we're going to lose this liquid fuel relatively shortly or the, or the lifting stage i should say um i'm not sure how we're going to deal with it um so sort of like this is this is going to end up being a bit of space debris here and whilst i really would like to launch another vessel to grapple with it and bring it back down to orbit and well bring it back down to the atmosphere uh i think that might be a little bit involved for what we're doing here we are trying to get through as much as possible because you know i like i like to see all new things oh slow down slow down so let's just stop start slowing down here yeah, sure. there we go well What's this at now? 150. That's that's no good. Right. So first things first, we're gonna um, kill our our thrust. Uh, we quite want to close that down as well at the moment. Okay. So we're we're gonna stage. Are we ready for this? I'm ready for this. Let's do it. Pow. Okay. So we've got just this tiny little engine here. Um, this should hopefully be all right. Well, I mean, we're looking for 250 kilometers. This is currently 148. So if we throttle up we haven't <laughs> haven't started it have we yeah look, look there we go there we go let's just ease our way in uh so yeah 250 kilometers that is really close really close so we're gonna have to uh 900 uh it, it needs to be less than 500 and ideally 250 kilometers so let's just bring this down 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 uh also being an equatorial bit not great um yeah that means we only get to see the uh equatorial band so what i think i'm going to do is when we get round to our parry apps i should have done it up here shouldn't i stuff it we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna push this round radially hopefully without wasting all my fuel let's see how much fuel oh we got loads left loads uh, so let's throttle up a bit and try and keep this on the radial mark because that really would help um, ideally without messing around with this too much i just want to get to a not so much a polar orbit like, as, as good as polar would be we're, we're kind of looking more towards a um i don't know 45 degree orbit something like that so somewhere about here if we can if we can get to this line i will be a happy chappy um and in fact i think that'll do yeah yeah no that very very much that will do god that autumn leaf hey eh? wow Th this is another reason i want patch conics because i want to be able to find out what what autumn leaf is up to i mean should we uh can we focus on it no we can't focus on it that's a, that's a bit of a shame all right well let's use our powers of time warp Whee! we're looking in the wrong direction but yeah who cares and start slowing down wow wow okay right Oh no, X! What? Why did that suddenly go full power? I did not give it any instructions to do that. I actually, didn't. Full on, didn't. Um, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, I don't think I pressed any buttons. I'm kind of looking at my keyboard now, going like, what, 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 what? Suddenly goes to full throttle. Um, okay, so we're just waiting until we get closer to the periaps because we don't, we don't want to take that down. Um, something like that yeah yeah that looks good right so now we need to try and bring our apple apps down to the same level ideally ideally um seven six five four three two about there perfect well there we go now we've got a fully working scan set so let's uh let's just click our start spectral scan thing and that should hopefully no start there we go and now hopefully oh yeah look at this beautiful and with that mission complete i say thank you very much for receiving the contents of my brain i will be back on monday to give you more of the contents of my brain and another mission bye